Right side. How's that hamstring going on the right side? Mm, it's okay. It's been a little bit sore, but I've been icing it, so. It's been better than it was? Yeah. Good. Just have a seat there, Natalie. That's good. And shuffle down a little bit, just a little bit. And lay down and put your shoulder right there, right on my finger. It's good. And bring your feet up. Good. And bend this leg for me. Right, this is Natalie, and she's a really flexible girl. She's a ballet dancer. She's a ballet expert, aren't you? seen her in action. She's definitely an expert. And I've had a request from one of the chiropractors out there to show you how to adjust to PIEX on a very flexible person. Now the trick is you've got to start in the right position like everybody and we've got to make sure that we get her perfectly straight to start with. But the really important thing with flexible people is that you don't allow their flexibility to injure their own spine because they can get a lot of torque through here if you let it happen. So the first thing I do to avoid that is I'll get underneath and I'll grab the actual pelvis and I'll tilt it like this. Like that, just to straighten things out a little bit. And the next thing we need to do is bring the bottom shoulder lower than the upper shoulder. And then we'll bring the pillow in tight so that it doesn't encourage the person to lift that out of the way. Once we've done that, we need to get our contact and we need to get the joint into the exact right position. So basically we'll use Natalie's femur to open up the joint there. That's good. And then we'll take our contact. We take the shoulder, and we can take the shoulder up a little bit. Now we can take it up until we feel some tension under our contact hand and then just back it off a little bit. Okay, so I've taken a contact there on Natalie, and we've taken another contact on the arm, and we've stretched it up a little bit to get some tension under my hand and then backed it off. Now I'm going to come away from her and I'm going to bring her over, but I'm going to bring her whole body over because I don't want her to rotate. She's got so much flexibility in her that if I let her, her, her shoulder here could lay down on the bench and this leg could virtually wrap around under the table. So what I've got to do is make sure, <laughs> we all know you could, Natalie. Um, what we've got to make sure is that we keep that very strong and, uh, sorry, straight and stable. At that point, like I say, we're going to bring her whole body over, but we can't let her pelvis drop forward because she'll just turn into this piece of licorice. So we have to do this adjustment a little bit more upright than what we probably would normally. It's really important here to control the femur with our stabilization leg. So as I come over here, I've got to get good stabilization on that leg and I need to control the flare in that ilium. So what I'm going to do, if you look at that joint there, I'm going to use her leg to open up that joint. It's closed there, open, closed, open. So I need to adjust it in that open position. As I open up that joint, it gives me somewhere to put it, and I just set it down. Job done. Mm -hmm.